Well, the best part of my job is watching the customers come in and see fresh, fresh cheese on the counter. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that when they come in, they know there's fresh cheese curds, and they love that squeak. <laughs> and, uh, so obviously that's very rewarding. Uh, end result. It always comes down to that end result. Is the customer satisfied? Because that's, that's why you're doing this. Uh, the process is the process, no matter if it's at this dairy, real small, or the large dairy up in Jim Falls at AMPI. The process is the same. It's just in such a uh, larger capacity. So. so how much cheese do you make? We here, last year, we were just shy of 2 million pounds of milk that we ran through our dairy um, last year, which is about 200,000 pounds of cheese. Now, to put that in perspective, Jim Falls runs about two plus million pounds of milk a day. Okay. So, it just, it, there again, just a larger 24-7 operation, um, but just a, a different process or, you know, a different, uh, different beast. <laughs> so, bigger isn't always better, and that's what we've always said. We're small enough where we can produce cheese curds six days a week get them bagged and get them to our retailers, grocery stores throughout the area before noon so the customer's enjoying fresh cheese curds that day. Okay, obviously we have our retail store which is open from nine to six and customers can come in and buy not only the cheeses we make here, um, we carry other cheeses, uh, the Swiss, the Munster, a lot of these other ones that we just don't produce that people like. And why wouldn't I carry it for the customer? So the retail part of it is this side of it. On the other side of the doorway, and I can show you later, is our dairy. Uh, and that's where it all starts early in the morning with a fresh milk being pumped through the line, pasteurized into the vat. The decision is made, is it cheese curds today or Colby or a Monterey Jack? And the process begins. Um, that, is, that is the start of our day. The end of the day is closing up the retail store when when we go home and we do it again the next day. <laughs> How did you get involved in this work? Well, I'm retired after 26 years of law enforcement, so I knew the previous owners who asked me to come and manage their store. It was new. It was one of those, they built it, will people come type thing. And uh, so knowing the family well, I thought, wow, this looks like a fun job. <laughs> so 12 years later now, uh, I've been here, new owners took over a year and a half ago. Uh, they've been great to work with. A uh, little different working with them because there's 27 owners, so I'm dealing with a board versus a family-owned operation, husband and wife. Uh, but they, they've been fabulous, and we've just, we just kept going. Obviously, they've decided to add on. We've doubled our vat size almost immediately after they took over. We are now putting on a large 40 by 60 addition, uh, two stories, which will help on capacity in holding milk longer. So it's all been, it's all been a plus for Yellowstone cheese.